What is going on YouTube? In today's video, we are taking on the $700 in one day challenge. Six o'clock in the morning, we just got our first order. $49 from Stop and Shop. Let's go. We have 24 hours to make $700 and that timer starts right now. All right, so this order took me a lot longer than I wanted to. We got two cards, now let's go drop it off. It's so cold that my teeth are cold. Let's go! $27 Walgreens order. Off to a good start. And we had to buy some water because ours froze. Looks like I won't be drinking this. I almost got frostbite. We just got order number four, which is gonna bring us above $100 and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Let's go. All right guys, so something really bad just happened at Best Buy. So I got this $19 double order for seven miles. It was a pickup order and one of them got canceled and I had to wait 15 minutes just to talk to a support agent to remove the canceled order. I couldn't move forward with the other half of the order until they did that. Losing 15 minutes is a huge deal. Just to put in perspective how difficult it is to make $700, we have to average $35 an hour for 20 hours straight just to reach our goal. All right, we got our next order to a CVS. I'm not even 100% sure if I can park here, so we gotta go fast. All right guys, so it's currently 12.30. I'll post how much we are at right now on the screen. We seem to be doing pretty decent, but we need to pick up the pace. We're finally in the college area, which is where I wanna spend the majority of the day. Let's see what we get for our next order. Dropping off this order to this building. Not sure if it's a hotel or an apartment, but it looks pretty cool. $21 for two miles. These are the type of orders that I'm hunting for. $19 for 4.6 miles. Now we're ready to deliver. This cold weather isn't stopping us. In fact, it's propelling us like a jet engine. So we just got our next order. It's a double order from DoorDash. I need to start using DoorDash and Instacart as much as I can because I need to conserve my 12 hours of Uber Eats driving time for night. We need Uber Eats at nighttime if we're gonna hit 700. Where are we dropping this order off to? Hogwarts? Next, we get two more shopping orders. These shopping orders have been solid all day long. This one's $19.03 for 5.5 miles. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. We post extreme delivery videos here on YouTube. So it is 5 o'clock p.m. We're about to hit that dinner dash. We're over 10 hours in. We're not even close to tired. We're not even halfway there. $700. We are going to get it tonight. First club hub of the day, and it's a good one. $16 for five miles. Let's go pick it up. $18.50 double order from DoorDash. Over 12 hours in, and we're still going. So it is 7.30 p.m. We are halfway to our goal. 13 hours in, this is when most people would quit, but not us. We were in and out of there so fast, it looked like I was stealing. These orders are about to heat up so much that it defrosted my water. We are still in the game. Massive $28 Uber Eats double order. We're about to stage a comeback. We are not giving up on this 700. A professional move. Double stacking this order from the same store, two different apps. They're both only three items each, so we could do them at the same time. 
We just got another CVS order. I've probably been to every CVS in Boston today. In fact, we have been to five different CVS's and four Walgreens today. And we just got our next order to our fifth Walgreens. We ventured into the far north. Well guys, we just got to that Walgreens and it was closed. So we basically drove 15 minutes to that Walgreens. Got $3 to pay for it, which is really bad. It is what it is. We got our next order. This one's in Brookline. Let's go. And at this point, we have 53 minutes left on Uber Eats driving time. Right, so we just got this double order from McDonald's. We're in one of the hardest areas to get parking, and we got really lucky. We're about to drop off to that hotel. At this point, we are 19 hours in. We still have $200 to make. That means if I go for four more hours, I have to make $50 an hour. And at that point, I've been driving for 24 hours. That's not even safe. We also can't use Uber Eats anymore, so I had to make a decision. All right, guys. Well, it is 1.52 a.m. I mean, I like to say never give up, but we're pretty far from 700. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was a noble shift. Let's go over the breakdown. So today we made $511.50 in 19 and a half hours for an hourly rate of $26.23. That ranks third on our list for the most we've ever made in a day, which is obviously not bad, but not what we were aiming for. We wanted to hit 700 today. And by the way, all those other shifts could be found on my channel under the DoorDash Challenges playlist. We made $2.66 per mile, and as you can see, we were all over Boston. I think one of the things that went wrong today is we had a lot of good consistent orders all throughout the day, but I noticed there's a lot of waiting time in between the orders that you didn't see in the video. A lot of five to 10 minute waits trying to get the next order. We had a lot of good orders today, but we didn't have any amazing orders like I did in my last attempt. That was honestly one of my best shifts I've ever done, but we are not giving up. I'm gonna be trying this challenge again, probably next week, so be on the lookout for that video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see that, and we will see you in another episode.